welcome back to the breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to download and install Optifine in Minecraft 1.18.1. Fabric. So we're going to be using Fabric, I meaning you can use Fabric mods with Optifine. And once you're done with this video, you'll know how to install Optifine with Fabric and then add Fabric mods in there as well and where to put those. So we're going to be going over all of it in this video. First and foremost, we do have our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. This is our very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love it just Apex so much, we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Optifine up and running with Fabric. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is how to download and install fabric with Optifine basically in the same tutorial, right? How to get fabric and Optifine together in a text tutorial format. But once you're here, you want to click on the download OptiFabric button. What is OptiFabric? Well, it's basically a bridge that links fabric and Optifine together. So you need this mod in order to kind of link those two together and then you'll be good to go, right? So you need OptiFabric and you need fabric and you need Optifine and then we can put them all together using OptiFabric. Don't worry about it, we're going to go over it all in this video. Once you're here, come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until you see the Minecraft 1.18 section, and then under that you'll see OptiFabric. Click on the orange download button to the right of this, and after a few seconds, OptiFabric will download. Now you may need to keep this file in the bottom left of Google Chrome. It's probably just going to download for me, yes, but you may need to click keep in the bottom left. It's 100% safe to do that. Same thing goes for Mozilla Firefox, where you need to save it in the center of your screen. From there, we need to download Optifine. To do this, you're going to go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our text tutorial for Optifine, but once you're here, click on the green Download Optifine button to be taken to the official Optifine download page. Once you're here, you want to come under Minecraft 1.18.1. Chrome right here to Optifine HD. And by the way, this number might be different. That's okay. You just want to make sure it's under Minecraft 1.18.1. Come over and click the mirror button here, this mirror link. When you click on that, it's going to take you to the official Optifine 1.18.1 download page. We can click on the blue download button for this version. Same thing as OptiFabric, you may have to keep it in the bottom left or save it in the center of the screen on Mozilla Firefox. We're not done downloading just yet, we still need to download Fabric itself, and you can find Fabric, you guessed it, at the fourth link in the description down below. This is an in-depth guide for how to install the Fabric Mod Loader, and this will go over everything in depth that you need to do for Optifine as well, but we're going to be going over it in this video. So once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official website. Once you're here, click on the Download Universal Jar link right here, this little link download universal jar and when you click on that in the bottom left fabric will begin downloading again you may need to keep it in the bottom left or save it on mozilla firefox finally we can minimize our browser and we want to get all these files to our desktop because it's just easier to work with them once they're there do that click the little windows icon to the top of my screen probably in the bottom left of your screen or in the center of your screen on windows 11 and then type in download you have this download file folder here click on that and then in here we have fabric optifine and opti fabric Drag all these to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, once these are on your desktop, if it looks different from mine, if it looks anything other than mine, like it looks a WinRAR file, an Internet Explorer file, a Notepad file, just a piece of paper, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, just keep on watching the tutorial. We're going to solve these issues. But first, let's see if we can open up Fabric. Go ahead and right-click on the Fabric installer. Click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Now, at this point, if you had Java, it should open up the Fabric installer, unless it doesn't. And if it doesn't, it's because you need Java. And guess what? If your icons are weird, you fix it the exact same way. If you didn't have Java at all, you fix it the exact same way. Basically, if you have any issues at this part of the tutorial, opening up the Fabric installer, it's going to be fixed with this, Java 17. Java 17 is now required both for Optifine and Fabric to work in Minecraft 1.18. So you want to come here, download Java 17, go through this tutorial, then you should be able to open up Fabric with Java. If you can't, you might need to run the jar fix. This is going to be found in the description down below. It's going to link all the jar files back to Java. If your icons look different from mine, the jar fix after you install Java will fix that. Now at this point, you should be able to right click on the Fabric installer, click on open with, click on Java, and click OK. If you have issues, it's because it's trying to open up the older version of Java. You need to go to apps and features, find Java in this program, and uninstall all of them but Java 17. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up the Fabric installer which we've done, and make sure 1.18 is selected under Minecraft version. Then click on install. This is going to go through, quickly come up and say done, successfully installed the Fabric Mod Loader. Awesome. Click OK. It's going to close out of that, and we can close out of the Fabric Installer. You can also delete the Fabric Installer from your desktop. We don't need it anymore. Now let's go ahead and install OptiFabric and OptiFine. To do this, you want to click that little Windows icon. Again, top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, unless you're
pressure on Windows 11, where it's in the center of your screen. And then go ahead and type in run, R-U-N. You'll have this run app here. Open up that run app. And in here, you want to type percent sign, app data percent sign in this text box. So percent, app data percent, exactly like that. And then click OK. It's going to open up the roaming folder, where you should have a dot Minecraft folder. Open that up, and you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, guess what? I don't either. So just right click, create a new folder, and title this folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Go ahead and open up our mods folder, and we can drag and drop Optifine and Optifabric into it right like so. It's that easy to install Optifine in Fabric, but you're not done yet. If you just open up Minecraft, it's not going to work. We need to make sure we're opening up Minecraft with Fabric. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we can go ahead and select the Fabric, basically, installation that is here. So let's let this load. There we go, it is now loaded up, and Fabric is automatically selected for us. If it's not for you, click this little arrow next to the play button and select Fabric here. Then click play, click play again to confirm you're playing modded Minecraft, and you're good to go. However, in some cases, you won't have Fabric here, or it won't be Fabric 1.18.1. In that case, come up to the top and click on installations. Then make sure modded is clicked on the right hand side. As you can see, unchecked modded and Fabric disappeared. Checked modded, and there it is, Fabric is back. Click play, click play again. However, if you still don't have Fabric 1.18.1 here, what you want to do is click New Installation. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own 1.18 Greek protected survival server. Come check it out. Then we want to go ahead and click on this version drop down list here. This is the most important part. When you click on version drop down list, make sure you select release fabric loader and then it says 1.18.1 at the end, right like so. So release fabric loader, make sure that's selected and then you're good to go. You can click create. I am gonna change the resolution just so we can see once we get in game. Click create in the bottom right and now we have this new playdarbreakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has fabric loader under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft and click play again. Now Minecraft's gonna open up with fabric and Optifine installed. And any other uh, fabric mods you want to use with Optifine, just add them into the mods folder right where we added Optifabric and Optifine. Just drag and drop them right there. So Xero's Minimap, Fabric Edition, just add that there. That's where it goes. Any other fabric mods you want, like Matica, drag and drop it in there, along with Molly Lib, which is its compatibility mod, and it is going to work with Optifine. Super simple, super easy, and honestly, the easiest way to install Optifine with Fabric, and the only way, actually. And by the way, I kept talking there. Did you see how it froze? Did you see how Minecraft kind of like froze and acted like it wasn't going to work? It did work, right? As you can see, we're now here we are. We then want to click on Options and Video Settings to unveil all of the Optifine settings. We can also see our Optifine version in the bottom left. Most importantly, we can turn on a shaders pack, like my favorite BSL shaders. I, no affiliation, I just love this shaders pack. <laughs> Nevertheless, we can then jump in to the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, to check out these awesome shaders with Fabric and Optifine. Like I said, you can install other Fabric mods as well, and all of that stuff, so, uh, so yeah. We're actually on a, a random test server that I have, so uh, one, one quick sec. And here we are in an actual uh, player server. As you can see, pixel art here, looking good. We can go to spawn and uh, yeah, aquatic survival, looking good in shaders with Optifine and Fabric. Awesome stuff. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And come play with us on the server. Playdartbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. You absolutely love it. Uh, it's honestly beautiful. Look at this. Wow. We also have Medieval Survival, Skyblock, all of that stuff. And you will love playing on it. So again, come play with us. Playdartbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. Enjoy Optifine with Fabric Mods. And I'm out. Peace.